Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and today we're gonna talk some tea. All right, you guys, so today we're gonna be doing my very first empties video. So for the first time ever, I finally managed to collect the tea that I went through in a month. Um, unfortunately, August, it's really only the first half of August because the second half of August, I was really sick. So I didn't drink tea for, oh, at least two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. So this is my August empties, but it's mainly the first two weeks of August. So I, I hope to continue to do this in the future and yeah, let's get to it. So my goal the last couple of months has been to sit down as much as possible to get things out of my stash that I really don't enjoy drinking very much so that I can replace it with things that I do. So one of the things that I finally finished off, and this was like a big one, was this Poudabong Darjeeling from Adagio. I just don't seem to like spring Darjeelings. I, I like like the second or third flush Darjeelings, not so much the first. So this I ended up combining with a Ceylon tea and that really helped to get through it. There's going to be a bunch of these guys, so let's, all right. So before we get to the tea bags, let's go through my bigger bags. So I went through this peach oolong from Adagio. Peach is really kind of a hit or miss with me. Um, I did this both in the Gaiwan iced and um, hot, and my preference was iced, but it just, it just wasn't my favorite. The Yunnan Noir. I also did this in the Gaiwan and Western style, and it was good. I mean, it's, it's, it's a nice black tea. I finished up Bird and Blend's Apple Strudel. Um, I bought this, oh, I think it was probably back in like January or February. And my husband and I both like this. This is a rooibos based, um, but we probably won't be rebuying it. The Golden Flower, which is from Adagio, which is an oolong. I really liked this Golden Flower. I would definitely repurchase this of all of the oolongs from Adagio that I've recently had. The Golden Flower was definitely a standout for me. I finally finished up my David's Tea Forever Nuts. Um, there was just a little bit left in here and so I, I wanted to get through it so that um, I, if I wanted to repurchase, I could get a fresh patch. I finished this from Davidson. It's a ginger peach black. Again, it was... I definitely liked this one better than the peach oolong, but again, it wasn't really my thing. I got this from a Sips by box. I finished up my Aesthete Amber Dawn, which is also something that I got from a Sips by box. It's a black tea with cardamom and cinnamon, and I did a review of this tea, and to me, it tastes kind of like a, um, a graham cracker and six months ago when I tried it it wasn't really my thing because I've never really been in I don't really like cinnamon in, in my tea and stuff I don't really like chai um, but when I finally finished it I really enjoyed it I had a completely different experience drinking it which prompted me to try some chai and turns out my taste buds have changed and now I'm kind of into chai for the first time in 10, 15 years since the first time I tried chai, I finally might have a taste for it, which is really exciting. So this is a single steep from T Forte, the black cherry. I tried this both hot and iced and it's okay. It's, it's kind of like it, it kind of reminds me kind of like a root beer more so than black cherry um, but I probably wouldn't I, I, I know I wouldn't rebuy this back in June I placed an adagio order and oh I guess at the end of May I placed an adagio order and they sent me um, the community for a week and I only just now got around to actually drinking them um, I don't think there was anything that really stood out to me I did really enjoy this one which was kind of like a chai so I again 
clearly that's the journey I am going to be on. And especially now that it's heading into fall, like what a perfect time to really do a deep dive on some chai. So I have had a ton of tea bags that I just want to kind of get through so that I can replenish my stash um, and keep things fresh. So I worked my way through some of my stash peppermint. Um, I have been blending the peppermint with my Harney and Son decaf Ceylons. Um, unfortunately, I just, I wasn't a huge fan of this on its own, but mixing it with the peppermint was, was really great. I had a bunch of leftover Tazo Awake Teas, which has been my go-to tea for since 2003. Um, I, this is my old reliable. I always have this on hand. I like to travel with this. Um, there's a lot of caffeine in these, so they are, these guys are my jam. And I, I still have some of my David's Tea Advent Calendar samples left over, so I finished up the Super Ginger. Um, this is another Sip Spy uh, sample that I got. I actually bought a full size of this one. Um, this is a black owned company that supports uh, women. Um, they, a lot of their proceeds go to towards um, funding uh, jobs for women, which I think is super cool. And trying to get through this chamomile lavender blend that somehow made it into my stash. I don't know if somebody gifted it to me or if my husband had asked for chamomile at some point. And so I'm just trying to get through things. So those are my tea empties for the first half of August. Hopefully September will yield even more. Um, I don't know if you are currently participating in the September sip down that is being hosted by It's Tea Babe and Tea and Me blog, uh, but over on Instagram, if you wanna check them out, I'll have all of their information linked below. There is a prompt every day um, if you are trying to get through your stash. I encourage you to join us um, so that you can replenish your your tea empties and fill it up with some autumn and winter goodness. All right, you guys, thank you again so much for joining me and see you next time. Bye.